Can everyone please stop saying that everything happens for a reason? Because it doesn't, and it's a complete and utter lie. Do you know who says everything happens for a reason? People who have never had anything significantly bad happen to them in their life. Oh, they may have lost their puppy. Oh, they may have broken up with a boyfriend or girlfriend. No one that I know who's had something significantly terrible happen to them, say the sudden death of a family member or a terrible disease or something terrible happened to them personally, no one I know who that has happened to, which is quite a few people, says that that terrible thing happened for a reason. Because it didn't. Now, this is where I may come off sounding incredibly bitter and cynical, but I am incredibly bitter and cynical. Um, when I do something good, say I just graduate from my psychology degree or something like that, something that I'm proud of and something that the general community can say, wow, that's a good thing that this person has done. A lot of people um, relate it back to my muscular dystrophy and say, well, look, obviously God gave you this muscle wasting disease so you could do these fabulous things with your life. Holly, everything happens for a reason. Hmm, can we just take a step back there and think of this actually logically and not in a completely twisted, effed up kind of way? What possible reason is there for an innocent baby to be born with a genetic disorder which destroys her muscles over time? I am 21 years old and my muscles are basically gone. I need help with basically everything. How is this terrible genetic disorder that I have, how is there any reason for me to have this? If I didn't have it, I'm sure I would have the same drive and the same interests. Um, I would still graduate from university, which really isn't a big deal, but a lot of people seem to think that, uh, Oh, your muscular dystrophy happened for a reason, Holly. It's so that you could do these wonderful things. No, plenty of other people who don't have bad things happen to them manage to do these types of things. It just boils my blood when people say, oh, well, you know, this terrible, terrible, heart-wrenching, mind-blowingly, stupidly destructive thing happened for a reason. Do you know what I'd like to do with people who say everything happens for a reason? I'd like them to go to a war-torn, poverty-stricken country, sit down with, say, maybe a little five-year-old kid who hasn't eaten in a few days, doesn't have clean water, um, is dying of malaria or some other preventable disease here in the West. I would like them to sit down in front of them and look them in the eye and say, all this terrible stuff that's happening to you, it's happening for a reason. Mm, would you like to explain what that reason is? That this innocent child who is probably about to die soon from things that aren't even an issue here in the West. Um, I would like for you to tell them what that reason is. Also, without getting all existential on you, there is no reason for anything. Um, there is no reason that the Big Bang happened. There is no reason that humans evolved. There is no reason in anything really. Sure, there is order and there is evolution and there is uh, laws of the universe, if you'd like, but there's no reason why anything happens. There's no reason why I chose a chocolate donut over a strawberry one. There's no deep and meaningful reason. It's just a matter of neurons in my brain firing going, Holly, pick the chocolate, pick the chocolate, pick the chocolate. There's no actual deep and meaningful reason to anything, which sounds terrible and sounds very depressing, but it's actually, I find it quite freeing that terrible things happen in this world, but there is no reason for it. It's just chance. It's just luck. It's just all those one all those statistical words that you want to use, 
There's no reason why anything terrible happens to anyone. So yes, anyone who says, oh, well, that terrible thing happened for a reason. Um, yeah, I'd like you to sit down in front of a starving child or maybe uh, a victim of violent rape or maybe a parent whose child was killed or any 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 real tragedy really and look them in the eye and tell them that there was a reason for it and that they will become a better person afterwards. Mm, yeah, because that kind of stuff generally doesn't mess people up in the head. It generally makes them healthier people, doesn't it? Ugh. So yes, if you're one of those people that say everything happens for a reason, please stop because A, it's insulting to the person that you're saying it to. And B, it makes you look like a flippin' idiot.